Hi there. It's the new year and we've got some good news and we've got some less than good news. First up, the good news. The good news is that in the last six months we've made a lot of progress on the boat and we're really happy about it. So this is the current state of the bedroom. We have a bed. <laughs> As you can see, we've like uh, we've framed out the inside of the window. We've even got some uh, some reading lights in. We've got the walls up. We've got the ceiling up. We've still got a lot of finishing to do, like the little oak strips to cover all of the sort of gaps and joins and things and nails. This this amazing thing uh, was built by uh, my dad. The central piece pulls out so that we can access the bow thruster locker because um, there's a sort of big hole in the steel in there with the, the bow thruster in the front. <laughs> um, we've got a hole here and underneath is um, the water pump for the fresh water. We've got the tank all plumbed in now. We've almost got the plumbing done actually. There's just a few bits down the other end near the calorifier that need finishing off. We've even got these beautiful oak liners for the portholes. Um, we've got some lights in at the top and a, and a little uh, extractor fan for condensation. So really, we've just got to um, cover up the ducting when we've finished with it. We've just got to install the gas pipe along here before we can get on and uh, finish covering this up. And then pretty much the bedroom's done. <laughs> this is our random kettle. <laughs> this is actually the, um, the expansion tank for our, um, for our heating system, for our, for our radiators, believe it or not. And I think I've calculated it to be the right size. Um, I hope you have. Uh, yeah, I mean, we could potentially put another one in down the other end if, yeah. uh, if it's not quite big enough. Do you want to just explain <laughs> ex expansion tanks? Because I, I think I roughly understand it now, but it's just, you know, not being versed in the ways of, of heating systems, it took me a while. So when you heat up the water in your uh, radiator system, the hot water expands by a certain percentage. So you need uh, a little expansion tank on your system to, um, to to contain the extra water that can go so it can go up and down because it's not a pressurized system that's important on uh, because we've got a back boiler on our stove and it's important that that isn't a pressurized system so this is how it works so we've got the um, this is of the end bulkheads in for the uh, end of the bedroom and these are both going to form um, sort of wardrobe slash storage cupboards that will come up to here. Um, we've actually done the other bulkheads but we don't want to put them in yet because we need space. <laughs> we've done all of this uh, lining out along here. We've got light switches in. We've even started doing some of the um, finishing strips um, on here. Mushroom vent liners. Okay. This, uh, this is for uh, where our, our TV is going to be in a sort of tech stuff. Yeah. And under all of this rubbish. Yes. <laughs> oh, we have. We have. The hearth. <laughs> Hearths are a matter of taste, and I know there are going to be comments about this, but we did say at the start of this journey we were going to have an American diner themed boat. And this is American diner themed. <laughs> Because this was quite a journey, wasn't it? I, I, I just, just in terms of just, you know, relatively briskly, do you want to just give us some of the ups and downs that we went through putting this damn thing in? Well, we um, we did a big concrete slab quite a while ago. Messed around trying to find nice fireproof, um, half safe. Um, I've forgotten the word. Oh, do, 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 um, <laughs> do, do you mean tile? Uh, yes, Tiles ti are meant. Tile adhesive and Tile. grouting, darling. Yes. <laughs> yes. Eventually got some. Yeah. Um, the, we had to fix the stove in place. Um, so we've, we've actually got some little um, metal brackets on the inside of the legs yeah. that are screwed down so that the stove can't move around. And that's part of the BSS stuff you have to have a solid stove. This was a pain, um, plumbing in the back boiler. Um, you see it comes, we had to we had to cut holes in here. 
Yes, and c c cutting that kind of a hole in tile is not the easiest thing in the world. <laughs> yeah. We had to, we actually had to put holes in the, um, in this calcium silicate board. Yeah. And then cut holes, like, line the tiles up, yeah. and then cut holes separately, and then, like, very carefully, you know, we had to get all of the placement exactly right for the tiles. It was, uh, yeah. It was a bit stressful. Yes. Yeah, an extra little exciting twist that we had um, as a result of that, and because when we laid the hearth, it ended up a little bit lower than we thought it was going to be. Only about like a centimetre or so. Uh, it, was, it was actually probably about like eight millimetres. The trouble is, this meant that the measurements that we'd done to cut the holes in the calcium silicate and the tiles were very slightly off. So we, a I actually had to get, because we were, we were building these feet to, to like fix the uh, stove in place, we actually had to buy extra stainless steel to, to make additional little feet under the feet <laughs> in order just to raise the stove up by about eight millimeters. And uh, stainless steel that's that thick is not cheap, as it turns out, but um, we got there in the end. It was such a journey. It really was. But I mean, I'm, I'm tremendously proud of how it's actually sort of turned out. It would have been nice if it had been a little less stressful, but we, we, we got there in the end. Um, we were really fortunate because a boat builders actually um, um, put a, uh, a video on YouTube about how they fit stoves. So we're we were able to just watch that video and do what they said to do. We, we will link to that video below as well. Yes. And we had a real pain getting the back boiler in. We tried all kinds of different things. We took the top off, we took the door off, we took the whole front off. To explain that there's, that there's, there's a large bit of metal called an... Uh, it's like an airflow, isn't it? That, that, yeah. That, a, a kind yeah. of airflow. I think it's only on this model that it's particularly awkward, but yeah. because we've got like a an airflow feature at the top of this. Um, yeah, it, it made it, the whole thing very... It just made it this very complicated 3D jigsaw that didn't seem to actually go together properly. We've actually gone for a, a single wall stovepipe because we spoke to our BSS guy, he said it's perfectly fine. They, uh, it's not fine if, if like, uh, if a boat builder sells a, a finished boat, that's against the rules, they're not allowed to put single wall in. If you're doing your own install, it's absolutely fine. The BSS certification they basically check for signs of burning and that there's uh, you know there's no I've forgotten what it's called pyro something or other pyrokinesis is it pyro pyro no, no it's not pyrokinesis that's being able to make fires with your mind <laughs> pyrolysis that's Py it pyrolysis yes. pyrolysis so we've got a nice massive big reflector on the top um, and that's all stuffed with um, with what's it called the uh, the wool stuff the, the itchy wool stuff rock wool rock wool yes <laughs> this is going well so far isn't absolutely it? <laughs> so that whole area is protected from any uh, any risk of burning we're going to keep an eye on we're going to monitor the temperature of this when we've got the stove on if it's too close we'll put another piece of steel just here but it should be fine <laughs> kitchen's a bit messy yeah <laughs> So we've actually, um, I don't know whether, <laughs> whether anyone remembers or was even subscribed um, back in the early days. We actually started building this kitchen um, before we had the boat, but we've actually now assembled pretty much all of it and uh, it's all in place. We've got to put some nice finishing frames on the front uh, and we're about to start cutting the doors and uh, building the drawers while it's cold and we it's, it's too cold to work at the boat at the moment, so we're spending a lot of time in the garage at home where it's a bit warmer. <laughs> this is obviously not plumbed in yet, but this is where the uh, the oven's going to be. Um, the hob's going to be just here with some drawers underneath it. More drawers there. And then this side we have a little pull-out unit that's currently full of electrics. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is where our sink is going to sit. A couple of little doors underneath it. Our fridge, currently being protected by, I don't even know what that is. It's, um, it's, it's the foam, it's the foam we used, <laughs> it's the, the foam we used in the, in the ceiling. A, uh, a metal 
drawer unit that's going to have a cupboard door um, and a little bin unit. So we've actually had to change this area. Um, we were actually going to have the oven at the top, but it turned out the oven was deeper than we hoped, so um, we had to put the oven down there. So we've lost a bit of uh, cupboard space, but this area, we sort of redesigned it and we're actually going to have a, a storage for a little twin to washing machine down here. And then we're going to have a bulkhead just here, and this is going to be uh, a big cupboard. And in the top, we're actually going to store our folding bikes. Um, and then we've got all of the calorifier um, plumbing down here, which we've still got to finish before we can actually enclose this space. Um, and then we're going to have the controls up here. And a radio. Exciting. <laughs> And this, this corner is, is going to be the electric corner, really, yes, isn't it? That's so, where the I mean, they'll, 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 they'll be like, I mean, where's the bulkhead yeah, going to be? The bulkhead's going to be just here. Yeah, just um, sort of like on, on, on the edge, just at the, at the edge of this unit. Um, and we're going to have a plate cupboard up here. Yeah. Along this wall. Um, and then this is, we're going to have our inverter in here. And uh, this is all the solar panel connections and stuff. And then the fuse box down there. Um, I think we'll probably have, because we want to get lithium batteries, we need to store them inside where it's a bit warmer so they don't uh, um, freeze. Uh, so we'll probably have the lithium batteries down at the bottom, down there. Hello. <laughs> Hello, this is the outside of the boat. <laughs> We've had endless trouble um, with the, the wood on the front of the boat. Um, this is oak, but um, we keep having problems. This is yacht varnish, um, but we keep having problems with it. We've sort of um, we've got layers of epoxy on it now. We're, we're still uh, we're still not quite there. Might well, it, up, it's because might it, end up painting it. Yeah. I think. Well, it's because I, I haven't actually finished those. But I've I've done like most of the window, but there's just like a couple of bits that I just haven't had it because it takes so much time to do. But uh, we'll, we'll figure it out in the yeah. end, even if we have to paint it. I tell you what, there are so many holes in this boat roof now. It's just <laughs> really hoping none of them leak. They're all sick of flex. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that mess over there is is the uh, the chimney collar. We uh, we didn't really want to put our shiny chrome uh, chimney on it <laughs> right now. We don't have a cap yet. We have to order a cap. We will get a cap. It's just there are lots of things to get already. Yeah. Now. I know there are going to be comments about this. <laughs> well, there are now that you've said it. <laughs> we had a real problem trying to figure out where to put a little mast light, because technically you need a mast light. I mean, they're, they're pretty loose with narrowboats, but technically you need a mast light if you're going to be on a river, particularly at night. Um, and we might end up in that situation at some point because this is the River Trent, so you know we, we may be taking journeys on the rivers at some point. So because of that, we need an anchor on the roof where we can reach it. We wanted a little mass light, and we also really quite wanted a tunnel light that would shine upwards when we're going through tunnels. Because having been through tunnels when we're on a, a, a holiday boat... Especially the, well, the Harecastle <laughs> Tunnel. We have done the Harecastle Tunnel and it was kind of scary. We, we wanted that uh, that roof to be lit because it was quite low in parts. So, right. <laughs> Our solar panels are going to be on this white area of roof and they're going to start here as close to the inverter as possible um, to minimise the voltage drop. Yeah. So this area is the area we have left for an anchor, a mast light and a tunnel light. Yeah. We're going to put the anchor on a little platform here and it's going to jut out over the top of the hatch. Yeah. So this is the area we have left for a mast light and a tunnel light. <laughs> Do you see the problem? <laughs> we've, we've got that here <laughs> and we've got that here. Now, you're going to ask, why on earth did you put that light behind that light? <laughs> and, and the answer is, we had no way of folding down this um, if we had that in front. And we wanted to be able to fold down this 
in case of particularly low bridges or whatever. Do you want to demonstrate the exciting folding nature of the mast? Oh, do I have to climb on the roof? Okay. Get off! Careful! So, I've got a little bolt. And it goes and down it like that. And basically, so this is a few more inches. Yeah. So when we generally when we need the tunnel light, we will fold it down. Other than that, it's probably going to be spending like yeah. ninety eight percent of its time. <laughs> this is a tunnel light. It's not a headlight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that was the choice we have to we had to make. I know it looks weird. I know every time someone looks at the boat, they're going to point at it and say, "What on earth were you doing there?" <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that's, I mean, I guess, I guess that's where we are. And, and um, so what, in terms of what we're doing next, aside from <laughs> the woodwork that we're doing at the moment, um, what else is there to do? Well, after, after we've done the woodwork, we're kind of, you know, we've, we're finishing off those bits of the kitchen. Then I think we'll be actually cutting the worktops yeah. and putting them in place. Well, the, the sinkholes will need to be drilled, won't they? Yes, we're going to be drilling a sinkhole somewhere down there quite low to the water line which is why we've got a, a nice uh, a ball cock for it yeah for safety um, and then we have to sort of fit fit the hob and fit the gas and then after that well we'll be finishing off the bedroom and then starting on the bathroom so what's the lesson good news where have you been why haven't you been making videos What's going on? Did I burst another appendix? Well, the, the truth is, um, early in 2018, so probably nine or ten months ago now, um, uh, I lost my online business, or I effectively lost it. There was a, a Google algorithm update and I went from having a full-time income, uh, being able to pay for all of the bits that we needed for the boat as we went along to having hardly enough money to cover my food bill. We had to move in uh, with my dad into his spare room and I've spent most of this year trying to fix things, trying to uh, trying to get my business back and uh, it's been really tough, it's been really tough. Uh, I'm making some progress but it's really slow. And there's still the possibility I might have to go out and get a job and sort of stop building the boat for a while. Um, we're hoping to avoid that and just kind of scrape through until, until we're through the crisis. But um, we don't know what's going to happen. Um, so I've spent a lot of time trying to train up uh, on, uh, on my programming skills, sort of refresh myself in case I need to go back to work. But that's the situation at the moment. Yeah, it's been a tough year. I think you need to understand is that we've been kind of having to play a bit of a balancing act all the way through the time that we've been making the boat. You know, I earn my money by doing, mostly by doing freelance publishing work and, like, technically speaking, over the last year or so, I could have, like, massively increased the amount of freelance work I'm doing in order to sort of make up the shortfall in money. Trouble is, if I did that, the boat work would have slowed down even more than it had to at certain points because there, there was like two months in 2018 where we weren't able to do anything on the boat because we were having to do work just to eat and it's been a problem all the way along but 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 especially just now because you know we're in a situation where we're living with em's dad and we are immeasurably grateful for the fact that he's letting us do that but also we don't want to be in that situation and we want to be able to get out of that situation and we still don't know exactly when we're going to be out of this situation. And 2018 has honestly been one of the most stressful years of my entire life, really. And a lot of that has played into why there hasn't been many videos for fairly obvious reasons. Because, you know, when I when we started out making the videos, I... I I re I've really, all the way along, I've wanted them to be sort of like positive and, and fun and entertaining and I, I don't, I didn't, I, I've never wanted them to sort of just be like, oh, I'll, I'll just use them as an outlet for describing all the things that have gone wrong. Yeah, they're just, <sighs> there haven't been many points in 2018 where there have been things I've actually wanted to commemorate 
in a video. It's been hard and it's been tough, but we are gonna get through it. We are. Yeah, it's not gonna be easy, but we are gonna get through it. People are probably gonna ask whether we regret doing this. Do we regret buying a empty shell and doing the boat out ourselves? Um, no. No, it was the only way that we could afford to do it. Um, we want our own home. Yes, we do have a lot of monthly costs like marina fees, but we're managing to cover those still. Even now, coming up to three years, it would have still been far, far more expensive to, uh, to buy a finished boat. It would have been lovely to do that, um, but that's way, way beyond our means. So this is the way, this is the way that we have to do it, and this is the way that we want to do it. And we are gonna get there. So that's where we are at the moment. That's our situation. And we're not giving up, we're keeping going. There's various financial things that we're looking into at the moment because money problems are not gonna go away, unfortunately, especially because of the fact that we have got some big costs coming up. But we're gonna figure out a solution and we are going to get on the boat. And just, I guess, just in closing, just wanted to say thank you very much for sticking with us and thank you very much for subscribing. It's always been our intention to do regular videos. We've just, just haven't been in the situation where it's been possible, especially while well, we're going through this at the moment. Once we actually get on the boat, we we have lots of plans of stuff that we want to do. I, th I think once we get there, it's going to be really fun and we're going to be able to do a lot with it. Uh, we, we, we have some interesting ideas about where we want to take the channel, but we, we just, we can't do that at the moment. We're not in a situation where we can do that at the moment, but thank you for subscribing and I hope I hope this this rather epic sort of update has has been sort of entertaining and has uh, you know brought you up to date on various details of what we're going through, and we will be back again with you fairly soon. Um, so until then, thanks again for watching and uh, look after yourselves. Bye bye.